Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. Now, this video right here is one that hits near and dear to my heart, and if you guys have actually had a chance to go check out Overwatch or play the game or been a part of this drama, you guys will absolutely, utterly, completely understand and hopefully understand my kind of rant on this one. Now, typically on my channel, you guys probably see me go and talk or go on the occasional rant, maybe on consoles or game consoles, you know, every now and then I'll work on other stuff or Twitch stuff too, because I'm obviously a Twitch streamer. But this one is one that is so absolutely horrid that the entire gaming community He's basically taking a stand against, and Overwatch 2 is essentially at this point pretty much dead. Now, I'm going to go and talk about a few different things and ramble a little bit, and I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below, obviously, so feel free to, whether you guys are my subscriber or hit this up in the algorithm or whatever. But I have never been so disappointed in my entire life trying to go play a game and enjoy a game than I ever have right now with Overwatch 2. So subscribe if you guys resonate with this one, leave a like or your thoughts. Let's dive into this video. So, if you guys do or do not know, Right now, uh, Overwatch 2 is definitely not in the best state, and if you guys just don't care about the game or anything like that, don't worry about it, don't stress it, because, well, you can sit here and just listen to a madman ramble and enjoy the game drama. If you guys noticed, uh, Steam actually released out Overwatch 2. They said over here saying Overwatch 2, critically acclaimed, team-based shooter, game best, uh, best game ever, blah, blah, blah. But it's been released up on Steam, which has not happened before, a somewhat bigger announcement or whatever it might be. And if you guys can so see right now, if you guys look on the screen itself, 9% of players recommend this game. 100,000 user reviews for this game are positive. 9% of that. And as you guys go through and click on any of this stuff on this page itself, look at the sea of red. 9% like this game, at least in terms of like the overall 106,000 reviews. This game has been destroyed. This game has been obliterated. Comments and reviews saying, nah, -uh. can I have a refund for a free to play game? The people who make the stuff that actually you, you know, do the dirty deed to are better. I don't know which Blizzard treats worse. It's players or it's female employees. Big mistake coming to Steam. Now you have a whole community critiquing your game accurately for all Steam users to see. Uh, and it's just been like, you guys see some of these, man. There has been nothing. And like, it's the community is not happy. No one is happy. Everyone hates everything. Someone's recommended review is just Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 Deluxe Edition with people are approving this one. This has been a game that has now become officially the lowest rated game on the entire Steam platform. This right now is the worst game ever on Steam. The reviews are so abysmally bad because the community is just overwhelmingly just done with Overwatch. I played Overwatch last night. I'll be honest with you guys. I was like, I had a nice dinner. I took the night off. And I'm playing this type of game, and I also, this is my own rant, and I'm sitting over here, I have 26,000 damage. I have 36, like, eliminations. My team's doing absolutely nothing. My, my DPS together over here does 26,000 damage. I feel like I was literally unironically trying to 1v, like, 5 the entire game because Overwatch matchmaking is that bad. This is my own individual rant besides how awful the game is when it comes to like the actual plans they had developed that they completely dropped the microtransactions the fact that they took like three years off of even trying to make overwatch one with basically no updates to make overwatch two into this pve type game which completely got obliterated let alone all the mmos and other resources they could have spent on and on top of the skins on top of everything's expensive on top of there's basically nothing going on this entire time and the fact that i still lose these games and i still play this game on occasion makes this video hurt so much more right now it is insane the entire planet is just despising this game and something has to go and break. Overwatch 2 is a mediocre game. Its fundamentals are fun. The game is fun. A lot of people who have played Overwatch before enjoyed the game itself. I've actually put hundreds of hours in the game. I'll play with my buds. I still play this game because I'm an idiot somehow. I still play League of Legends though because I'm also dumb. But this, like we're seeing right now, look, we're now seeing like media reports that people even in China despise this game. So it's not just Americans being whiny, it's the entire planet realizing that Overwatch 2 is an absolutely dreadful, awful game that no one really likes. It's like people who are stuck playing League of Legends. They have just played it for a while, it's in their system, it's in their like their bloodstream, and they'll still play it with their buds or whatever, but no one enjoys it. And the people who do still play the game, they realize this. They realize that Blizzard themselves just ruined them. 
They have no easy way to go get skins. You maybe get drops on occasion on Twitch. You maybe go get random, maybe one Battle Pass skin. But after that, you got to go and spend money on Battle Passes, which makes you have to play the game, and it takes a long time to even level up in the Battle Pass, unless you buy more Battle Passes to go get skins that should be at least in some way attainable for free, or at least do something fun for the community for once. I mean, they throw freebies every now and then, sure, but but at the same time, people want, wanted the PvE. They're like, yeah, sure, maybe we'll give it a shot if the PvE is good. I had low hopes myself. It got fully pretty much canceled. It's just having some weird middle ground like PvE stuff that might make sense, might not, probably no one's going to play it, and it makes us sad. They gave up on the game support for multiple years just to play the game in the first place. And as I mentioned, even China is just destroying this game right now. The Chinese reviews mention a lot of the same elements as reviewers from the rest of the world. The lack of promised PvE content, criticism of the in-game content pricing, it's expensive, perceived downgrades compared to Overwatch 1, and as well, like they just never changed the game. You're still play it's basically Overwatch Overwatch 1.2, not even 1.5, just 1.2, and a lot of these people too as well, like Blizzard and NetEase as well, also does have distribution of Blizzard PC games in China, and as well, it also led to the shutdown of games like Overwatch 2 and other titles in January 23rd, 2023, so games in China... I have been upset over losing their accounts. They can't even play the game on national servers. No announces of the return of the game so far. So people are upset that they can't even literally play the game that they might have spent money on or got skins on or spent hours on or just want to play with their friends. So let alone the game is just an absolute downfall of just depression for anyone who enjoys Overwatch. It's also part two. People cannot literally even play the game. And of course, this is literally the lowest reviewed game of all time. And this kind of goes to show how many people are upset right now now in current Blizzard practice. D4, I played the first, like, you know, game launch. It was fun. I met a lot of cool streamers. I played the game. You know, I got to high world tiers. I got good loot. It was a fun enjoyment. But then, Seasonal was horrible. They nerfed the game. Why do you want to nerf, like, essentially, almost mostly a single-player game? I know it's technically an MMO, but like, you mainly play by yourself or with friends. So why are you nerfing it? The whole point of that game is to have fun and do crazy big builds and huge, do huge numbers and make your character OP. It's like they've completely lost the mark of what makes a game fun. It's like microtransactions, battle pass, microtransactions, battle pass, microtransactions, battle pass. And we sit over here just like us just being sad. Like, look at Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate was one of the best games out so far. People are claiming that game is game of the year. There's no microtransactions. There's no battle passes. And you can tell that the developers made a bunch of effort. They wanted to sit there and feel good about the game they made. There is so many different dialogue options. Everything you do in that game feels like your gameplay is fresh. That is one of the rare games for me, who's a full-time Twitch streamer, YouTuber at this point, as a game that I myself would actually replay because I think it'd be different enough of an experience. I've done multiple campaigns with my friends. I was hanging out with a dragon VTuber. That's cool. Like, I don't even know why, but, like, whatever. It works, like, just... The game itself actually has merit. It has heart. It has something that people don't usually feel nowadays in games, because all these big, big AAA game companies just want to go and milk every bit of money out of your wallet to go play any game at all for, like, some weird addiction loophole, and it makes me so sad, because I don't feel like we have originality anymore. And when we do have a kind of a cool, somewhat unique concept, say, like, you know, Overwatch, it's, you know, it's taking a lot of inspiration from other games, sure, but in the core, it's a pretty unique-ish game, things like that, or, like, Paladins, or, you know, other types of MOBAs, but it was fun. It was a fresh experience when it came Came out and Overwatch 2 even coming back was a nice vibe. But after all this type of stuff, we sit here and we realize they just didn't care. They didn't want to follow through on PVE. They did empty promises. They've removed games. They, it's hard to get skins. It's not a fun gaming experience at all. And it makes me really, really sad because they're just killing the game and they're everyone's telling them exactly what to fix, what to change, and no one's listening. It's like kind of like just banging your head against the wall. And that's why right now you look at this. Overwatch 2 is now Steam's worst game of all time. And this is what people are seeing. You maybe want to check out Overwatch 2 and this is what you're now seeing on headlines or on Steam. This overwhelmingly negative experience of don't even download this game. And I like this game. Like I literally played it last night. I played multiple games last night. Uh, do I hate the game? Yeah, because I feel like I... I don't want to sit here and play 80 different games of rank up again because I've I, guys, I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've had like 17 losses in a row and this is not like one of those like, oh, I, I'm like my team sucks and I'm not like, just playing by myself. No, it's quite literally my team. Like I had a, I had a guy who did 3000 damage. I did 
I think, 22,000 for reference. And now, the, the damage is not everything in Overwatch. You gotta care about eliminations, mitigation, heals, and all that. Uh, yeah, one of my DPS is at 3,000 damage. If you guys play Overwatch on, a, like, a multi, like, 10-plus minute game, 3,000 damage is not a lot you can get in the first few minutes of the game. It's horrible. The matchmaking is horrible. I hate this game. So, you guys can probably tell me a little bit tilted from my game experience last night, too, as well, which kind of adds fuel to the fire for me, hating that they can go and put so much effort and make this game a good game. They can put so much effort and actually make, like, Blizzard a company that people love and enjoy. PC gamers used to love games like World of Warcraft or any other else game, but every game, like Hearthstone included, is just a massive microtransaction hell that no one really ever wants to go and play. And I want Overwatch to succeed. I want more games to play. I want to have fun. I don't want to sit here and critique and kind of just be mad at every game out there on the entire planet, but as I sit here wanting to go play Overwatch, I want to go and stream that game. I want to enjoy it. And the first comment I say is, hey guys, I want to play Overwatch. Everyone, my friends, my Twitch viewers, even probably people on YouTube watching this video, that I'll probably get no views on this video in the first place because no one cares about Overwatch anymore because they made it like that because Blizzard and Activision were the ones that dropped the ball. So give me your thoughts and comments. All right, right now, you want to what? Like, I don't like swearing. Fix your shit. Like, what is this? Like, this is a disappointment. And this is how the gaming industry is now. And I hope more games like Ballers Gate keep coming out so we can see the passion and joy that devs have nowadays. Subscribe if you guys want. Give me your thoughts and comments down below. Appreciate you guys all so much. You guys are all dope. I'll talk to you guys soon.